Welcome back, guys, to uh, game two of our NCPL coverage versus uh, MIT. The, I hope you guys brought food for this one because this video is just as long, uh, if not 100% freaking longer than the last video. Um, just because of the nature of my opponent's team. You know, some people like that play style. I myself would probably never touch it with a 10 foot pole, but that's a valid thing if you want to do that. Uh, I just have to learn how to play around it. So I've got a couple of taunters on my team now, uh, as we learned from game one. One, and I do have Ludicolo, which actually has a pretty favorable matchup against a really good portion of his team. So because of that, and I really don't think he's going to lead off with Gardevoir Latias, I'm going to lead off with it. I'm actually going to lead off with it in this game because I think that's an aggressive enough move to make where it'll force him out to something that I know I can... Uh, What's, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, deal with, I guess, deal with. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna try to deal with this Rona right now by going for a life of Giga Drain on it, taking off a huge chunk of HP off of it, and he ends up, you know, reading that going for a pain split, which honestly is fine by me, because if I can Giga Drain Hippo, uh, or even to an extent Shuckle outside of the sand, I would probably Surf Shuckle before I Giga Drain it, but there's two Giga Drainable targets, and this play, this play was really, really, really obvious to me. Um, he's definitely going to want to bait me to go for another Giga Drain, uh, but it was a 50-50. I knew he was going to switch out, and it was between going into Latias or going into Ferrothorn to take the Giga Drain, because one scares me off, and one doesn't, and one's a really important pivotal moment for what kind of momentum he's going to gain uh, immediately after that. I don't think I've revealed Focus Blast on this thing yet, but I did get a crit on the Ice Beam, and I get to go for Focus Blast, which that crit right there does not matter because I got the first one. Um, I'm not sure how much Ice Beam would have done, but Focus Blast is around 75%-ish, so that was nice. Ferrothorn is gone, means there's not going to be any spikes for the rest of the game, and uh, Gyarados just has a little bit of an easier time sweeping now that uh, Rotom is very softened up, and uh, Ferrothorn is gone. So, uh, game plan, once again, is to try to bring that thing in. But, he's finally forced on the offense, and the thing that I'm noticing about his team is it does not have a lot of offensive backbone outside of uh, of Latias. So when you lose a core like that, you have to play a little bit more aggressively uh, to try to get your hazards up and stuff like that. But the, the plays, the plays that are being made are just, you know, very safe ones. Still, nonetheless, uh, I have to kind of, you know, ease up on my jets a little just to make sure I get Stealth Rocks up because that's my one hazard I have going on on this team. It's important that I get it up as soon as possible because his team relies on switching uh, and forcing switches, so I might as well punish. But because I know this Shuckle has Sticky Web, I want to make sure that my Keldeo actually gets use. So I'm actually just going to be going for Scalds right here. My main plan is Scald or die. You either Scald or you die. That's basically the plan here. Um, and I understand he does still have Latias, but with, you know, the potential bird damage I have going on and spec Scald damage uh, happening, I'm just going to keep going at this until quite literally I die, which is fine. So he's going to roost here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think he was telling me after the game he's not running max speed and he's running enough to outspeed this little guy here or something like that or maybe speed tie with it. I don't I don't remember. It's it's fine by me, honestly. I'm pretty sure I can take I was under the impression I could take a psyche from full, uh, being specs, because I thought uh, I don't know, people run Psy Shock on Latias, but I think that's to get around calm minds and not to get around uh, natural defenses per se. But he he switches here, which um, that's kind of weird to me, because he was... I, I know he has Psychic on that Latia, so I was just kind of confused by that play is all. But he's trying to read around a play that he thinks I'm going to do, and I'm just not. Like, now that Web's up, I do not give one single shit about this Keldeo. And um, whatever I can do with it is going to be great. So... He decides to use me as pain split fodder here. I was really, really, really hoping I was going to be able to knock him out on that one. Uh, but as long as the Keldeo is softened, or not the Keldeo, the, as long as the Rotom is more or less softened up, if I can get a burn on it, that would be cool. Get Stealth Rocks and burn going for me. Um, but honestly, it's at the same amount of HP it was at before. He doesn't have a lot of benefit of going for pain split anymore. And I, for whatever reason, thought I was going to be able to take a Volt Switch there. Honestly, I, like I said, I did not care either way. Um, it's a Sticky Weber or it's a thing that suffers a lot from sticky web because it's in an important speed tier and now it's not because it loses to Gardevoir and Latias so he brings in Shuckle 
and the temptation to immediately, immediately go into Gyarados and start setting up is very real because Ferrothorn is gone. Um, he's he's already, I think he's down two Pokemon, or he's essentially down two Pokemon. What is it? What did I take out anything? I don't even remember. Screw this game. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go for a Scald here because that's what half my team does. Just goes for rain boosted Scalds, gets more status conditions going. So, uh, what are we gonna see on this turn? I don't remember, probably nothing important. I just realistically just wanted to get the rain up. But I do have a more or less safe switch in, and that I still have Foo Ball. Uh, I can't really do anything to it, but I can't really do anything to me. And uh, because he lost his Ferrothorn, I can leech seed something pretty freely. So that's looking like a dang good idea, if you ask me. Or wait, I didn't lose Foo Ball. I guess I decided to go out into Ludicolo predicting the, uh, predicting the Roost. And uh, I did not know whether or not he knew that I was slower than him, even in the rain, uh, which is why he took an extra long time on this turn to uh, to calculate the speed. So it was an aggressive bluff uh, that I probably should not have taken that risk. But you know what? So sometimes, sometimes people aren't actually going to go ahead and check that stuff. So uh, I tried it, and it didn't work. Uh, life goes on. I still had another safe switch in, which was Ferrothorn. And uh, honestly, if his Gardevoir was max speed as well, I don't think I was outspeeding it. So I lost an important condition into, uh, er, I lost an important condition for freaking Hippo and Shuckle. But I still have Gyarados. Uh, I got my rocks up. And I do still have Tornadus at a lovely amount of HP, so I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Especially because Rotom dies to Hurricanes now. But this game, you know, this entire series, we hadn't really seen any problems going on in terms of RNG not going my way or anything of the sort. Uh, but I think it's in a couple of turns from now. It's, it's brutal. It's brutal, and I honestly don't know how I got past it. But I'm going to go for a knockoff to get rid of the leftovers there. And I think I just try going for a stock hurricane because I don't want this Gardevoir really coming in for free or, you know, his hippo actually being at a full amount of HP. Oh, I taunted there. I taunted there because I was going to try to do the same shit and he was just not having it. You know, honestly, even if you do want to predict me to go for the taunt, I still really don't care that much about, uh, about this thing. What is it? I completely lost my train of thought there. Um, he has two utility moves on this, so, you know, if I do taunt him, he can't use him, whatever. Uh, but if I were to get a sweep off the exact same way, that would have been really disappointing. Uh, I was feeling like I should have gone for the hurricane there, because that would have been a pretty aggressive play to make there. But 70 accuracy, man, I, I don't fuck with that, and a lot of people shouldn't either, so... I got in a Ferrothorn. Uh, this is probably pretty dang obvious. This is fine. Um, I do still have uh, Tornadus, and honestly, like as long as Fubaw's in here, uh, we're just getting chip damage off on this thing and uh, getting closer to the actually fairly important uh, U-turn knockout where I don't have to risk anything and I just do it just based on natural damage. So he's going to go for Hyper Voice here, which is definitely going to be able to knock me out from that range. And thankfully, I do still have Tornadus, not affected by Sticky Web. It's the only thing that's faster than this thing. I don't remember if he got rocks up. Did he? Whatever. Anyway, Sand's still going, uh, but I'm actually going to go into Politoed right now in order to get the 100% accurate Hurricanes going. I think I'm at full HP or, you know, something pretty close to it. I think he got Stealth Rocks. I'm pretty sure he got Stealth. He got no hazards up. That's beautiful. Uh, but his taunt wears off, so he's actually going to go ahead and Heal Bell. Uh, I've never seen a Heal Bell guard of art before, but he's basically just using it to get the uh, the burn off of the, uh, the Latias there. Now, right here... This was actually just me expecting him to switch out to Hippo again, so that way I could just taunt it and do the same shit. I was definitely not expecting a pain split, uh, but he's going to get back, you know, X amount of HP, but I'm still feeling pretty good about the fact that I have 100% accurate Hurricanes. They're going to do a little bit more damage than U-Turn, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and fire one off, but that was inter interesting play was interesting, I guess, kind of dodged a bullet there that I did not really know was going to happen, because I definitely want to keep my... Uh, what you call it up and it turns out right here i missed my hurricane and this is a 50 50 right here because he knows i have taunt and i just went for a hurricane and i just missed it again so i missed two hurricanes he should have been dead probably after the first one to be honest and he's able to get his rocks up which that turn just both of those turns combined really 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 pissed me off so i'm gonna go for a taunt right here to make sure that he does not do anything else and he's just actually just gonna go ahead and try to slack off fully knowing that i have taunt and I'm not going to go for another hurricane unless I shut this thing down and force a switch. So, 
He goes out to Shuckle, which is fine. Um, I get a nice 25% off with the Stealth Rocks. As always, I think that's one of Shuckle's really big weak points. Would you look at that, kids? I missed three Hurricanes in a row. That is... If that isn't disappointment, I don't know what is, because one of these things definitely should have been dead, and they're both still walking God's terrible earth right now. Uh, gonna get to go for a U-turn. Uh, once again, not really doing too much, but if there's one thing I do want to do right now, it's I want to get Gyarados going, and it's either gonna happen on Shuckle, or it's gonna happen on Hippo. Um, or, I guess I thought I was bringing Gyarados? Okay, guess not. We're, uh, we're bringing in Politoed to get the weather up. Uh, rocks are finally happening, but thankfully there's no spikes. Uh, I'm only dealing with the rocks in web game, which I think is what I did with Royal Guard, if anything. Rocks and web. Those are probably the important ones. Spikes is just really aggressive. But, he goes for an infestation here on the turn that I switch in Politoed. Once again, I don't really mind this because this means he has to stay in for the infestation to take effect. And he's not going to want to stay in versus a Politoed get, that gets Rain Boosted Scald. So I'm only going to be taking one turn of Infestation as he goes into his Latias. Which, hey, you know what? Fairly obvious, but that's fine. I'm still going to... Oh, never mind. I went for a Pear Song. Actually predicting something else to happen because I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch out as soon as this Shuckle switches out. So the fact that this Latias is in here means it's not going to get to uh, recover too much or anything of the sort. I mean, it will roost on the potential switch, and uh, uh, that's what I thought was going to happen, but I think he actually predicted me to uh, to predict his roost and stay in and try to attack him and, you know, try to go for another burn. So he goes for Psychic there, very nice play on my opponent's part, uh, but I'm actually going to go ahead and switch out, or I think I'm, I don't know, it was either I Scald again or I Protect uh, predicting the Psychic and him wanting to get aggressive, because I've shown him Protect. <laughs> Um, this play right here was something that definitely confused me. Actually, no, wait, no, yeah, yeah, it, it still kind of did, because the switch itself just didn't really make sense. Um, I'm gonna go and go out into Tornadus again, because, you know what, whatever, it's fine. I, I, I legitimately was predicting a roost on that one, so, uh, the fact that Shuckle's in here, I'm gonna try to go for either a Hurricane or a Taunt, because why not? And hopefully... I get to land it on this stupid hippo because this thing should this thing definitely should have been dead ten turns ago and we all know that I had not one but two opportunities I can shut off its slack or I can shut off its slack off and I am a otherwise perfect check to it this thing is yeah wow I can switch in on it and the worst thing you can do is set up rocks on me or recover or roar me out so it cannot do any actual damage to me whatsoever. Anyways, he switches out his Hippo, that actually kind of confused me because that means he dies to rocks and he doesn't get his weather up, so as soon as I get Politoed in here again, um, that's it. I keep my weather for 8 turns, I have no fear of the weather shifting, I only have fear of the weather going away. Um, but I guess I decide not to do that. I'm sorry, it's still really early in the morning and I'm completely forgetting what happens in this game. But, this is my time, this is my opportunity for Gyarados to, uh, to come in and do whatever the hell I needed to. So, I actually do have Taunt on this. I don't think I showed him that I have Taunt on this as well last game. But I'm going to go for it now, in case he wants to try going for a rest. Because I am not standing for any of that shit. Or an Encore. No. He goes for Encore predicting me to Dragon Dance. And I say, piss right off with that. That's not a valid play in my book. I know I'm going to set up on you. And the worst thing you can do, honestly, is, um, is you can go for an Infestation. Now, somebody was telling me, like, why did you, uh, <coughs> why did you Mega? Because that means you would not be, uh, resisting Infestation anymore. And I was like, you know what, honestly, I just really want to see how much a plus one Shuckle is going to do with the Stab Infestation. And, uh, let me tell you, kids, it's not a lot. It was two. It was two damage. I would have taken one damage instead. And, you know, fuck me sideways if that ended up mattering, but it didn't. It, trust me, at the end of the day, it didn't. I'm inside with Mega Gyarados, I have a plus one boost, and uh, that's exactly how the last game ended. Uh, just different scenario leading up to it, and as you can see by the video length, if you're still keeping track of the, you know, the progress bar at home, we're getting near the end of the game, because that is what happened with uh, Gyarados. It got set up. And I knew I could definitely set up another Dragon Dance on Rotom, or not Rotom, on uh, Shuckle. Because all it can do is Infestation, or he can switch. So, right there, he actually sacrifices Hippo. But, honestly, I'm just going for another DD. I legitimately do not care. He's got Latias, he's got Gardevoir. Uh, Gardevoir is at around half HP, Latias at around half HP. Rotom's not doing too hot. 
and then I think Shuckle dies to a Stealth Rock switch in. So this is me coming back from like 3-5 uh, and just pushing the rest of his team in. This is what Mega Gyarados does if you are not careful. And yes, I did put Earthquake on this thing afterwards because it's very handy and it does still hit Latias. So um, anyway, Rotom dies. This is, this is me cleaning up house. So give this Gyarados a broom, it's what it does, despite the fact it can't hold them. And it looks more like a broom itself than anything else. Anyway, Shuggle dies to rocks, so I did not really understand the point of that switch. Probably just, it, it was bound to happen eventually. But, uh, okay. Gardevoir comes in, dies to a waterfall or a crunch. Same base power. Not not being discriminant. But that's the, that's the game, guys. So, uh, I don't even take it to a game three on this series. If anything, I shut down this aggressive defense with a, uh, with a well-placed Gyarados shenanigans going on. So... That's best two out of three, guys, so we are on to uh, round six, where uh, my opponent will either be a fellow Washington uh, UW opponent, or it will be Buffalo. Uh, I don't know that at this time, but uh, it should be still pretty pretty dang exciting either way. I'm planning on live streaming it too, uh, but because I'm actually narrating this the day before I figure out what's going on, um, odds are I've probably live streamed it at this point, in which case uh, this last round is sure to be a very, very exciting one, uh, which is why I'm actually really happy I made it this far, because win or lose at the very end, uh, it's still a hell of a series, and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So if you are, you can leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, do your thing, you know how that works, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.